Hello, hunters! Welcome back to Playframe! You thought the hunting was done? Nay, I say. Welcome back. We've got some more hunting to do. And Gwibbers is all geared up. Look! She's all in, like, Legiana gear, I think that is? Yeah. No, she is feeling ready. I think it is our task today to go out on an expedition to sort of figure out what it is we're gonna do next. But first, uh, I should talk to this new NPC here in town, the Elder Melder. I don't make much use of the Elder Melder and the function that she serves in game, but maybe I should. I don't know. Hunter, how have you been? As you can see, I decided to move to Astera. <laughs> From now on, I'll be conducting my research here. You'll come by to see me often, won't you? My specialty is melding, a technique developed by the first Wyvarians. It allows us to change one type of matter into another. Do you have any items you're willing to part with? I'll turn them into something more useful, or I'm not the Elder Melder. So, what can I melt for you? So, it's, like, it's kind of neat, right? Like, you can... Get rid of stuff you don't need, turn it into other things. I just haven't done a lot of it. Now, let's see, uh... Okay, so, like, if I wanted to create some mite pills, I could turn in some iron ore. And I do have a lot of iron ore, to be fair. Like, and different stuff that I have earns me a certain amount of points. I think, a like, a mite pill needs 40 points, so I'd have to use, like... Jeez, how many iron ores to get one mite pill? Like, 17? Alright. See, probably not a great deal, but... If I needed them, or if I had some other high-value stuff just piled up that I wanted to get rid of. That's kind of neat, right? Now you can even get some, like, uh rarer drops like uh plates tend to be pretty rare drops light crystals marrow spikes stuff like that i could see myself in a pinch just coming here and throwing some iron ore at this melder to get myself the plate i need instead of going out and hunting eight or nine engine until they drop one. <laughs> oh yeah maybe i will make better use of her in the future anyway yeah, we are to search the ancient forest for a first Wyvarian clues. Don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. Wibbers, are you ready? We should eat. And in fact, let's eat in the gathering hub because there's an event going on again. It's like appreciation fest or something. And it's just kind of a fun party. With cats and stuff everywhere. And the Palicos are in weird disco gear for some reason. And everyone else is wearing palico like Kigurumis, which... I love it. I want one. <laughs> Good fun. Anyway, let's get some food. My goodness. Those shades. I think they say world. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, these games are silly. And I love them. I think I'm gonna stick with the bow, because I'm not 100% sure what I'm headed out there to fight right now, or what I'll be fighting next, but I got a rough idea. And I get the feeling that I'm gonna be happy I had a bow. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, gotta keep chipping away you know the drill. at these, Start uh... For clues. I'm doing it. Let's gotta keep chipping away at these Monster Hunter quests. Because there's an expansion coming this year. Gotta be ready. Somebody in comments pointed out, and this is not something that I had recognized previously, but, uh... Huh. Okay. When you're using the bow, like I was uh, saying before how I al always use the close range coding, which is, like, infinite, as opposed to power coatings and other stuff like that, apparently you can just not use a coating at all, in which case it sort of functions like normal coding, which in a lot of ways is probably <laughs> e even better than close range coding. For a lot of situations, anyway. I did not know that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try messing around with no coding at all this mission. See what it gets me. 
Ooh, first Wyvarian footprints. Yes, good. This is what I needed. Let's track them. Good. Yeesh, where are they hiding? Hmm. Yes, they're footprints. I've been tracking them halfway across the map. Oh, Rathalos caches. Neat. Looks like we both arrived at the same There place. you are. Uh, oh. You're the handler, and you're in a... <laughs> you're in a cat costume because of the season. Look, I have two palicos today. That's fun. Man, big event, like seasons in Monster Hunter World, are just so fun to me. I love that they do them so often. So, what's here? What are we looking at? Handler, you look ridiculous. The trail seems to stop here. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. That's what I thought. Arathalos. Yep. Yeah! Rathalos time! They are nasty. And they've been like the flagship monster since the original Monster Hunter, way back in the day. We're getting you a change of clothes when we get back. Look. <laughs> Hello. Found you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Never mind my weirdly dressed companion. I assure you we take ourselves very seriously. Yes. You wish to know where you may find the dragon with a mountain of fire upon its back? Hmm. I possess that knowledge. But you are not yet worthy. Only one who stands at the top of the food chain. Only once you have conquered the fire wyvern and horned wyvern that have descended upon the forest and the waste. Only then will you be worthy. Oh. Top of the food chain? Fire and horned wyverns? I guess we're supposed to hunt those two monsters. It must be referring to Rathalos and Diablos. Want to return to base and prep? I just can't take you seriously while you're wearing that. We're getting you a change of clothes. Come on. Let me get these mushrooms. And then we out. Okay, partner. Okay. I've set up quests for the fire wyvern and the horned wyvern. Fantastic. Good to know what we got coming up. So, today we're fighting a Rathalos, then. That'll be something. <laughs> we better get ourselves fed. One of the other great things about seasonal events, uh, like the Autumn Fest, Winter Fest, Summer Fest, and then just random ones like this Appreciation Fest, is that all of the event quests, the, the sort of like weekly quests that uh, pop up, that are kind of new and that you can't play any other time, they all come back for those couple of weeks, so you can you can do any of them. Which is great, because those event quests are, where you, are what often get you like really fancy, uh, or just unusual gear. Like, 
the quest that allows you to get gear to make your Palico look like Mega Man, that's an event quest. So if you missed it, uh, like when it originally launched, then you can uh, like wait until one of these big events when all the event quests come back, and you can catch up on it and do it then later. So uh, I've got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Gotta do a lot of those. Anyway, let's get fed. We're going to need it. Look at those good cats. They take such good care of us. <laughs> Where would we be without them? Dead and hungry, I suppose. Oh yeah, let's um let's get you changed. Awesome. Now I'm feeling ready to rock. We got two wyverns to or wyverns, I don't know which. We got two wyverns to tangle within the ancient forest and the wild spire waste. The fire wyvern Rathalos and the horned wyvern Diablos. Both are challenging. I guess the only way forward is to take out both of those monsters and prove that we stand at the top of the food chain. I'm ready. Probably. Let's start with this one. Yes. Rathalos is a tricky one, but uh, I find with a bow, they're not so bad. So long as your dodging game is on point. Yeah, we are definitely starting to get toward those quests where, uh, I feel more challenged. <laughs> some of them are definitely gonna start getting hard, especially because I'm pretty determined to show off some other kinds of weapons as we keep going, some of which I am not very experienced with. That will add a certain difficulty modifier <laughs> to this whole ordeal. So here's the thing you gotta know about Rathalos. It's basically like a Rathian, if Rathian was red, and a huge pain in the butt. And I love him, but he's kind of obnoxious. Hey, bud. Hey. Come. You see what I mean? I arrest my case. <laughs> what a dork. Yeah, unlike Rathian... Rathalos does not like to stay on the ground. Rathalos like to fly. Rathalos like to just fly around out of reach, left and right, swinging his tail, trying to poison you, shooting fire everywhere, and then just up and leaving for no reason. Rathalos is a dork. So let's see if we can learn... That they're dragging some manners. Hey! Pay attention to me! Hello to you too. Nope. As you can see, already up and flying around. Swinging that tail around. Being a dork. Hmm. Let's see, where's his weak point? Probably his head, right? You can tell by if you see the orange numbers pop up. Eh. And I'm not seeing any orange numbers, which is... Wait, it's awesome. Face? Is that the... Ow. Got grabbed and poisoned. What a... Uh-oh. Water. Bad. Water bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Ow. Bad luck on that. I was really kind of hoping that the water would wash the Rathalos away. That did not happen. Bad start. That's all right, we'll bounce back. All right, you, I wasn't ready. Round two, here we go. Keep that tail away from me. All right, so yeah, the face is what I want to be aiming for. Good to know. Nope. Hey, watch it. The 
But my entire strategy is basically just gonna be pepper this thing with arrows and evade like my life depends on it. It completely does. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you can see why playing Dark Souls, I really leaned hard on my uh, Monster Hunter muscle memory. See, with these, I'm getting, like, all right, on a good hit, like, 13-ish damage. Nope. Yikes. But I wonder, with close-range coating, what difference does it make? That's a little higher, especially if I'm close. Watch it. Nope. Watch that tail. All right, I think if I can get closer, then this uh, close-range ammo is a little more effective, which... You know, it kind of makes sense when you think about it, huh? Yeah, take that! Some nice damage there. He mad. He's so mad! No. No! Stop it! Just hold still. For once. In your dragon life. Stop! That move scares me, don't do it. Would you put those feet on the ground already? Not like that. Oh jeez. Quit. You dork. So angry. No. Did you fall down? Just fall down. Come on. It's so easy. Ah, jeez. That's a lot of fire. A lot of fire. Roll. Roll! Are you leaving? Nope. <laughs> That's not what leaving looks like. Ah! Watch it. No, no. <laughs> Crumbs! <laughs> Would you knock it off? This thing is so uncooperative. And there he goes. So that's Rathalos. Good fun. Whippers, how are you holding up? You're looking kind of unscathed and very casual. Just a hardened war cat. Rathalos? Hello? Oh, there you are. Did you come closer? You're kind of out of reach. There you are. Thanks for joining me. Would you hold still? It's so much easier when you hold still. No. Hey, I don't like that. What are you doing? Where are you? I'm uncomfortable with you being out of sight. Come here. Ah, missed. Come back. Thank you. Ah. Catch. Eat sky rocks. Ah, I missed. More sky rocks, please. Eat. Ah. Hold still. Oh, hey, fell down. Awesome. Eat a dragon shot. Let's see if we can break some parts. All right. All right, we're getting them. Watch it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to get away with that. No. No tail swings. Oh, thank you, Quivers. What a champ. What an absolute champ. 
Our cat is. Yes. All right, here we go. Charging up another shot. Let's go for the tail. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's so daggum satisfying. Oh, it's mad. No. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Could have sworn it was going to grab me and throw me. Glad it didn't. Hey. Oh, no. All the fire. <laughs> Why do you have to be so angry all the time? Rathalos. It's Gyrox! <laughs> I can be annoying too! Oh jeez. Ooh, look who got stuck. Or something. Let's see what we can do here. Looking good. Oh, no. Yeah, I deserve that. Heal up, top off, do whatever you gotta do. Get healed. My maximum health is way too low after that early death to mess around. Oh, thanks, Quivers. I appreciate the thought. Ah, fire. Nope. Didn't dodge. Where are you going? Are you going? No? Oh, did you decide not to go? Yeah, get stunned. And staggered and everything else. Ah, that missed. Oh no, it didn't! I accidentally did a good. I'm accidentally doing a lot of good. pretty good here. In fact, I think we're starting to wear the sucker down. Hey! Alright, just as well. I kind of wanted to, uh, see what I could get from the tail here. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, he's hurting. Oh, I really should have eaten some of these rations. Get some more stamina back. The bow is such a stamina-reliant weapon. Silly me. As always. I really gotta up my game, man. Some of these end-game monsters... Like, we're not even into high rank yet. As soon as we get to high rank, we're gonna start seeing a lot of... ...returning faces... ...who hit a lot harder. I'm going to need to be better... ...by then. Did I bring any bombs or anything? Nah, that's fine, I'll manage. We'll just have to make do. Rathalos, catch! Feels good. Yeah, that's right. I ain't done with you. You are just going to have to learn to be a good sport about it. Ah. Nope. Nope. Stop threatening to pounce me. Yeah, punk. Get on the ground with the rest of us. What, you think you're too good for the ground? I'll show you. Are you not done yet? Are you still alive? Uh-oh. Finally! Oof. What a tough cookie. Yay, Gwibbers! Gwibbers, you did it. And I helped. 
Well, that really is just such a battle cat down there. Whoever's, I'm so proud. Ah, we got some good stuff. Is there any other good stuff up here? Like, now that you managed to break this whole wall and let a whole bunch of water out? What else is up here? Ooh. Bone piles. Nifty. It really is so cool whenever you're, like, having a fight against a Rathian or a Rathalos up here, and they manage to break that wall. Because that water can just wash them down to the base of the tree, and it's just super cool. Didn't work out that way this time, but maybe next time. <laughs> oh, that's a cool screenshot to finish on. Dang. <laughs> Holy cow, that looks amazing. Ah. Uh, good hunt, except for that first death, which was... I'd call it amateur hour, but it... I really only lasted about, like, uh, 20 seconds in that fight <laughs> before, uh, just getting stomped. Next up, Diablos. Darn right. We're gonna be back to fight some Diablos next time, and we're gonna do it with a new weapon that I'm not very good with, so that'll be fun for everyone, hopefully. Or no one. You'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're having... A lovely time. Someone asked for a specific one. Oh, someone requested the Devil May Cry dual guns. Let's just see what that's about, shall we? That is exactly what I should have expected. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>